it's Beach Salt and Sand, and today I wanted to discuss a few topics that might actually help um, when picking hair care products. A lot of the products on the market today aren't necessarily geared towards promoting healthy hair growth. A lot of people throw stuff on the market, just put it out there, and it's not necessarily beneficial, and most of them are labeled unfortunately for african-american hair um, and what i'm talking about a lot of these products that you pick up on the shelf are loaded with mineral oils um, petroleum paraffin oil all this kind of stuff is pretty much like vaseline and you're coating your hair with it this is a big no-no if you pick up your product off the shelf and one of the first things in the ingredients list are one of the three that I mentioned you probably need to leave it on the shelf um, all it's going to do is coat your hair it's going to block any moisture from getting in to the hair shaft uh, um, into the core of your, your hair strand you're not going to have any moisture in your hair and you're going to be wondering why okay my hair looks shiny but it's still dry and brittle that also goes with Silicone. Silicones will make your hair look like it's healthy. It'll give it a nice sheen. And it'll be smooth. But unless it's a water soluble silicone, and I'll list those um, to the side, if it's a water soluble silicone um, that can be washed out in the shower with your regular washing, those can be managed. If it is a silicone that is not water soluble, which means that you can put it on your hair. You can get in the shower, you can use your shampoo, and you think you're washing it off, but you're not. Actually, your hair has to be stripped with a very strong shampoo that will remove the actual silicone. It's almost like it bonds to your hair and it doesn't just come off with water. So it stays on your hair and you're wondering why after so many washes, why does my hair feel dry? And it's because those silicones are still stuck to your hair shaft and it can't get off and your hair is just, it'll become a mess. So stay away from the silicone, stay away from the mineral oils. Um, those are like the two main things, honestly, that I would say to look for in your hair care products. Um, and like I said, it's unfortunate, but a lot of them that are geared towards African American hair will contain these products. Um, if you look at your ingredients list on the back of your products, like I said, whatever is the most that's contained in the product will be listed first in the ingredient list. Whatever is least in the product will most likely be listed last. So let that be a marker for you when you decide what kind of products you want for your hair. Um, just be aware of you know what you're picking up because again you know this will help you with retaining your length help you keep your hair moisturized and just in general it will allow you to better understand what is going on with your hair so i hope this helps i hope this gives you guys some ideas of what to look for when you go shopping and help you on your hair journey all right talk to you guys later bye